Today, we're talking about the little known fact that Bosch B and G series control panels can actually handle and take care of door control or access control um, for people who are looking to use the system to allow employees or visitors who are pre-vetted to use a card credential or a key fob to be able to access uh, the front door or other parts of the facility. And this capability uh, comes as a standard part of Bosch control panels um, starting at a certain level in that control panel family, you can start um, controlling doors all the way up to 32 doors per control panel, and that's for up to 2,000 card holders. So it's pretty powerful for someone who's looking for a relatively basic access control solution um, that provides uh, normal functionality for people coming and going out of the building and for um, being able to export a report and uh, import that into Excel and, and sort it based upon. Uh, users or activities and, and things like that. So, Joe, if you could do us a favor and tell us who this solution is not for, because I think that's equally as important, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, very equally as important. Uh, so, this is, would not be used for a large enterprise user or a user that is looking for uh, to watch live event or alarm monitoring on a screen. Okay, so this is for a smaller. Um, I don't want to say a smaller application, but a less intensive active use of the application, right? So, um, so in this video, you're going to do uh, an overview of the capabilities um, as far as if you're an administrator or a manager of a facility, let's say, um, how you would add users, edit users, delete users, um, how they uh, get put into groups, and then also show us how the scheduling works. Um, so, Joe, go ahead and take it away and uh, show us how using RPS Lite, uh, how that's accomplished. We will begin by opening Remote Programming Software, or RPS Lite. When you open up RPS Lite, you see all of your panels that are in the software. First, you must log in. Here you will find your panels. You can right click on the panel and click open panel view, control zero or by double clicking on the panel. First, we're going to go to user configuration and user assignments. And we are going to add a user. So here user five is open. We are going to double click on the username and we are going to give user5 a username new employee. We will also give this employee a passcode to arm or disarm the panel if that's needed. We are going to give that user a user group or assign them to a user group. We will give that a site code for the credential as well as the card data that correlates to the credential that employee will be using. Next, we will edit a user. So user six, I have labeled as fob number two, and I wanna give that fob now a username for an employee. So here I'm going to add that as existing employee. This employee as well, I would like to give a passcode for arming and disarming the panel. Not needed, only if it is for that application. That fob was already for user group two, and of course it already had a site code and card data. So just editing to add the name. Next, we will delete a user. So we're gonna delete the data value and click okay. And you can see user three is now deleted from the system. Next, we're going to go to schedules and see how the user groups are set up. So we'll go to schedules and user group windows. So here we have two user groups set up, one in window one and one in window two. Both user groups have access Monday through Friday. However, if you notice user group one 
has access from 5.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and user group two has access from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. And now this is just for this particular application. Uh, you could have multiple user groups and multiple user group windows. Next, we're going to connect to the panel. And we want to click send RPS data to panel. So all of the changes that we just made will now be sent to the panel. Now we want to hang up our connection. Before we do that, we want to click reset panel and then click OK. Resetting the panel will make sure that all changes take effect in the panel as soon as the panel is reset. We'll go to operations. And you want to connect to the panel again. You want to connect via the network and press connect. Now we will go back to operations and we will click get history. And now a pop up window will come up and ask the range. Here we're just looking for the current events. So RPS will download current events. And then now we'll go back to view history. And now we have a history log of everything that's happened in the panel. So here you can see the access grant, three access denies, and another access granted. Another thing you can do with the panel history is you can highlight all the data you see here. You can copy that data, and then you can insert that into an Excel spreadsheet, where from there, you can sort all the data to find uh, exactly what you're looking for inside that history. And that is how a end user or a manager can add, edit, or delete users. We quickly touch on employee grouping, how that is set up, and a good understanding, as well as how to pull a history report from the panel via RPS Lite.